Let's assess the third week of the registration exercise across the country, and we'll be going to the Volta and Central regions to speak to Ivy Setoji and Richard Kojonyako. Um, let me begin with you, Ivy. Um, so in the past few weeks, we've been talking about social distancing and a general calm environment. Has anything changed today? Uh, well, it has not changed that much uh, because here at the EC Regional Office uh, in Ho, uh, Unfortunately, we lost Ivy there. We'll get back to her and speak to her further about the registration exercise in the Volta region. Let's now go to Richard Kojonyako. Now, Richard, before we do anything else, the NDC's parliamentary candidate for the Cape Coast North constituency, Kwame Nat Mintanyako, has released a statement about the allegations leveled against him. No? He released a statement about uh, what has befallen him. And the statement reads that I've become aware of reports in the media and social media platform to the effect that my voters' identification card has been withdrawn by the Electoral Commissioner. I wish to inform all party faithful supporters and the general public that the matter is being handled expeditiously by a legal team. My silence on the substantive matter is by reason of advice from the legal team. It has, however, become imperative and compelling to respond and correct some wrong impressions and obvious propaganda that have been circulating since the news broke. And I wish to place on record. So he outlines four things, four main things. I meet all requirements to vote in Ghana, and indeed I have participated in previous elections conducted by the Electoral Commission of Ghana. The second one, I have been voting in the Cape Coast North constituency in the previous elections. Number three, I have been a resident and still a resident of the Cape Coast North constituency. Number four, I currently reside in the electoral area where I recently registered in the ongoing voters' registration exercise. So um, he is referring us to the legal team that as and when the legal team mandates him to speak, he will speak on the matter. And he's in the meantime urging all party supporters and faithful to keep calm because he's going to battle the case and he will eventually win. So uh, Mr. Mentenyako says that he's been voting in Ghana and he's voted, he's participated in elections, he's voted in Cape Coast North and he lives there. He has a residency there. But Richard, what are the specific allegations that were brought against him? Well, the, the specific allegation is that he stays at the University of Cape Coast. He's a lecturer there. And so he lives in a government bungalow there. And then he has a building in the Cape Coast South constituency. So he did not um, register at the Cape Coast, uh, not um, at the uh, University of Cape Coast where he lives. He did not register at his residence, but he went to in Kamfua, another suburb in the uh, Cape Coast North constituency. And so he was subsequently challenged. But the building, um, which address he used um, to fill the form, that was what was challenged. Uh, caretakers and other witnesses were called. And so before the committee, it was found out that, in fact, he has not lived um, um, in that particular place before. He, and that, that particular building did not belong to him. And so based on that, they said that Within that electoral area, he was unfit. He was not qualified to register there. And based on that, his, um, his ID card was withdrawn upon the recommendation by the committee, by the Electoral Commission. So, Richard, he says in his statements that I currently reside in the electoral area where I recently registered in the ongoing voters' that registration is exercise. That is in dispute because um, uh, that is what the committee found. And then after the committee sitting, he, he uh, Dr. Kwame Namintanya, appeared before the committee with his lawyer. And after some investigation, uh, we are also even told that the committee uh, moved to uh, the electoral area in dispute. They uh, did some inquiries, and then they settled on the matter that indeed he did not qualify. He, I mean, the information he provided on the forms regarding his addressing system and the fact that he stays there was incorrect. And based on that, uh, that thing was withdrawn. In fact, in my, my, my interaction with the electoral commission indicated that he could still have registered where 
he, he has a building in the Cape Coast South constituency, and he could just simply walk to the offices to effect the transfer when the, the, the processes were open. He did not also um, um, register at the Cape Coast North where he was a resident. I know there are two uh, key requirements, um, an ordinary resident in that particular area and a permanent resident. And then they deemed that he was not an ordinary resident in that particular electoral area he went, he is claiming he resides there. Richard, um, hold on just a moment for me. I'm very curious about this issue. A, a few more issues we'll unpack there. Um, but we've managed to get IB Setoji back. IB, take us to what you've observed at the registration centers, please. Okay, so uh, I am currently at the EC regional level where the judge, uh, the pregnant women and nursing mothers have to uh, register. Uh, but then, uh, apart from that, I told that some other people were, were also allowed to register. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like well, we, we, we have a bit of a challenge with Ivy Setoji's line. We'll be unable to continue that conversation with her. Pardon me, Ivy. Um, when we come back to the Volta region, we'll get a clear picture of exactly um, what is going on there. But let me quickly wrap up with Richard Kojunyako, who is with us on the other connection. Um, so, Richard, going forward, and I understand from what you've been telling us that you've been interacting with the Electoral Commission on this matter, um, would Mr. Mentenyako be able to stand as um, a parliamentary candidate in Cape Coast North still after this incident? So from what I have learned so far, uh, once his ID card has been withdrawn, he is ineligible to get and for a period, a considerable uh, period of time, uh, we are told five years. And so if the nominations are opened by the Electoral Commission, he will be ineligible to stand for the election because a key requirement, uh, a key requirement is that he should have he should be a registered voter. In this case, Mr. Mintanya will not be a registered voter and will disqualify him from contesting in this election. So For five I, I years. So is this election and the next one? Ex exactly, exactly. And it comes with some sanctions as well that um, if you fall foul of these electoral laws, you are to pay 500 penalty units, and the penalty unit is 12 Ghana cities, and 12 times 500 will give us 6,000 Ghana cities. So he is to pay that, or in default, he will go in for two years, or it could be both. It could be that he would pay the amount of money, and then he could go in as well. Right, Richard Kojian Aku, thank you very much for joining us with those details. It looks like it's going to be a tall order for Kwamna Mintanyako. Kwame Nantanyako, pardon me, but um, all the same, he says he, his legal team is handling the matter, and so we can expect more details in later bulletins.